ask Pete <laughs> to find some more so for us. Well, <laughs> Serge wanted to leave the mortise right. to Pete, so I will. <laughs> so it's all down to the mortise? Yes, it's all down to the mortise. Mm. Yeah. Mm. OK, so I'm going to leave the mortise till last in that case. <laughs> Well, if somebody was trying to adapt a beautiful old stick to look like a tourt, then, funnily enough, they knew what they were doing in regards to the mortise, because the mortise is a classic Francois Xavier to mortise. The front of the head, the ridge, which is the line that uh, is formed at the centre of the head, is not classic. It's really too straight. But then you think, OK, if somebody knew how to do how to cut a mortise like a tort. They'd also know it's quite, a, quite an easy thing to copy, or at least have an attempt to copy the, the ridge, which is a curious thing. So that makes me think it hasn't been adapted, uh, because why would they do that so well, and not the bit that everybody sees? You know, with tort, the this ridge line usually wanders off when you look down it to the left. Um, again, to me, this is just a quirk. It's the way he would have worked his tools. Let's say this is his knife. He would have cut more naturally out that way than, than, than he would do this way, because it's, it's less comfortable to do it, to cut it that way than it is to do it like that. For me, this is just a thing that occurred every time. He wasn't thinking as a design to make his line wobble to the left. So there's no reason to think every now and again he might have thought, I'm actually going to make my line straight and think about it. It's not impossible that he made it with a straight line. Now, having said what I did about the last one, that most of them were octagonal, this, this is indeed the round stick. But it, but it is slightly triangular, but not too triangular, which is what happened in the later schools with, with Peckart, the Peckart school became really clearly a lot more triangular. When you, when you twist a bow in your hand, you really feel almost two ridges for the first third of the line along the bottom, although it's rounded off. <clears throat> this, this is really more round than the Peckart school, um, which again works well with Tourt. Um, yeah, the quality, the choice of the wood works very nicely. And if I can just look at the detail here. What I'm doing is looking in the in the chamfer for very small file marks, very fine needle file marks, which he must have used, to it used to just smooth off any ir irregularities, any bumps. And I can see them there. I can see some fine mark, uh, file marks. And I like, this, I like the shape of this chamfer much more than I do this chamfer, which of course has been explained by the fact that the, the bow has been repaired on this side and it's been filed off. So we lose the fullness, we lose the shape of this chamfer. However, I think you can, you can see this. This corner here is a lot tighter than on this side. This is, it's a more open corner, which I was explaining, trying to explain with the cello bow. And so you can see that again.